processing, they coat the six square copper wire to form a perfect insulation layer. Once the pellets are poured in, the copper wire rollers are in place. The automatic cleaner and mold shape the copper wire to a 0.25 mm diameter, allowing the insulating plastic to adhere evenly. This is why the workshop owner offers a two and a half year warranty on the cables. After making the cables, the assistant uses a special drum to wrap them neatly, ensuring a smoother feeding process for the weaving machine. While one assistant organizes cables, another winds black cotton thread into bundles. To make cables more durable, two insulated bundles are placed between wires before adding the cotton layer. This enhances flexibility and makes cables look fuller. The wire ends are fixed on the drum. The automatic winding machine works, wrapping wires and cotton thread together, ensuring a cylindrical shape. In half a day, the winding is done and they move to the insulation workshop. To improve efficiency, more cables are processed at once. The owner invested in 30 automatic weaving machines. Workers place drums, connect cotton thread and start the machine, which weaves based on drum placement. Black cotton thread is added inside the insulation for appeal. A cotton layer is added outside for protection. This gives it a refined look. After wrapping, cables are cut to 3 meters as ordered. Due to strict standards, cutting must be precise. Then special plugs are fixed on wires and tightened. On the other end, a clip connects to the control box. After installing wire ends, a heat shrink tube is placed at the joint. A heat gun bonds it with the joint, ensuring sealing. To prevent loosening, a machine shapes the connection. The plug is then shaped in the processing machine. Using molds and feeding technology, a plug is made in two seconds. After processing, the manager and his cousin organize and secure cables for transport. The cables made from new materials are complete. Can they pass the 3C certification?